Barangay Ginebra assistant coach Olsen Dracella, who just celebrated his birthday. Related happy birthday to him, a drive immediately to the PBA and announcing the start of this game is Stan the Man with a chance for the three-point play. Uh, if you're down in the last two games. Thrown, but able to control that is Scotty. Now Pringle off the glass using the offhand. And we mentioned he can do it in a variety of ways. Traded. Ang kasama niya ron sa trade na yun. Inciso. Ano, Inciso. Tama. Si Inciso, maganda rin nilalaro sa TNT. Stand the man. Tres naman ang kanyang pinasok doon. Didn't like the fact that Di Gregorio got one on the under, other end. Got it right back. Under panic situations. Look at this defense by uh, Mike Di Gregorio. Giving too much space. Knocked down by Stan Pringle. Challenges that outside shot of Capiral. And then he just sprints down court for their layup. Easy baskets for them. Yun ang nagiging bintang. Hit the leg of Abu Trotter. And it's really Pringle. Who is the guy who can create para sa Barangay Hinebra. Na? Draw closer. Tenorio. Labas kay Stan. Itira ng tres in rhythm. Stan. Pringle is unconscious here in the first half. So, unti-unti na. Ganda na ng mga desisyon ni L.A. Tenorio. Kanina, pinasa niya sa loob kay Aljon Mariano. Ngayon naman, kick out pass to Stan Pringle. Look at that defense from Alaska, extending out. Keeping a close eye on Pringle because there he goes once again. And that's 22 for Stan. This guy doesn't need a ball screen. Begging our baseline referee to call a foul, but nothing was called. Now, if you stop, and this is the trademark of Barangay Hinebra, they're not going to lose their sight. Their focus is still attacking. None. It was, none was whistled too, but here, obviously, an end one play for Stan the Man. I'm now at our best player of the game, none other than Stanley Pringle with 31 points, six rebounds, four out of five from beyond the arc. Stan, congratulations. Another outstanding performance you witnessed from you tonight. You were scoring consistently throughout all those four quarters, but particularly in that first half, you seem to have carried most of the load for your squad. Where do you draw from when you continue fighting despite double-digit deficits? Well, I think, uh, you know, we, we lost two straight, so um, everybody was just, uh, every single person was focused on bouncing back and, uh, you know, trying to come out with a win. Uh, you know, coaching staff, all the players, we was all, you know, being creative, trying new things, and uh, finally came together and, and, and got one in the crunch time. Stanley, I have to ask, you played such lengthy minutes tonight. In less than 24 hours, you will be battling it out here again at the AUF Arena, this time around against the Batang Pier. So how are you planning to balance out your preparation, your recovery, and your preparation? Definitely going to be tough. Uh, we just got to jump in the ice right now. Um, we have everybody get off their feet and, uh, you know, physically just uh, get off your feet and, and mentally lock in on the next game. So, yeah, that's all. All right, finally, Stan, the people you'd like to greet and say thank you to. Yeah, well, thank you to all the fans watching, tuning in. Uh, y'all keep supporting us. And uh, y'all uh, subscribe to my man Joe DeVance's uh, YouTube channel and Scotty Thompson's YouTube channel. Bye, y'all. Take care, man. Teammate. God bless. All right, what a supportive teammate. Thank you so much, Stan. <laughs>